Hi everyone, welcome to Raw Online. This is Dr. Ashok, consultant clinical microbiologist. So today, like we are going to deal with one of the most common fungal infection, which is going to be an one of the most commonest opportunistic infection, especially like when we are going to treat a patients like HIV positive patients. And we will see about this particular infection. And this particular infection is going to be caused by a fungus called Nemocystis gerevesi, which was previously called as Nemocystis carni. And this particular fungal pathogen is going to be a non-cultivable pathogen. So, this particular fungus will not grow in the culture medium which we use for growing the fungus and we will see the particular theoretical aspect of this particular infection. So, let us go into the topic now. So, we have the case study followed by which we can see the theoretical aspect. So, here like we have a 56 year old male and who is a case of PLHIV. So, whenever like we are going to see a patient who is HIV positive, it is better to address them as PLHIV. We should not tell them as HIV positive. So, we can tell us PLHIV which stands for people living with HIV and he developed fever associated with cough and frothy sputum. Clinical examination is suggestive of pneumonia and CT scan showed ground glass opacity. History of irregular medication history was present. So, patient is a case of uh, people living with HIV, PLHIV and the particular patient has not taken a proper medication. So, whenever like we have an uh, HIV patient who is not going to take the particular ART, antiretroviral drug. So, what is going to happen is that there is going to be reduction in the CD4 uh, cell and it can lead to something called opportunistic infection. And his re recent CD4 count is going to be 1 or 2 cell millimeter cube. The suspicion of opportunistic infection, the sputum smear was subjected to gomorimethinamine stain which showed the following. So, with this like you should know what is the normal CD4 count. So, whenever like there is going to be a CD4, so whenever there is going to be a CD4 like we should know the normal count. So, the normal count is going to be between 500 to 1500 cells per millimeter cube. So, usually we do a technique called flow cytometry for determining this particular cell count. And this particular sputum are subjected to the GMS stain. So, whenever like you are going to learn about the staining, it is always better to know about this particular staining principle. So, can anyone tell what is the principle of this particular staining method? So, it is going to be Gomori methinamine silver stain, where you are able to see green background and you are able to see the particular fungal organism in the dark brown to black color. So, can anyone tell what is the principle of this particular Gomori methinamine silver stain? So, it is going to be a mucopolysaccharide component. So, the mucopolysaccharide component of the fungal cell wall will be oxidized to release the aldehyde group. The aldehyde group then reacts with the silver nitrate reducing it to the metallic silver. So, that metallic silver like it is going to be the dark brown against the fungal structure. So, here the dark brown to black fungal structure against a green background is due to the presence of metallic silver. So, the metallic silver component is going to be a dark brown to black component and the background is going to be green. So, here like you are able to see a green background and the fungal structure is going to be looking dark brown to black structure. So, with this like we will go into the theoretical background. So, this particular organism is going to be a fungal organism and it is going to be caused by the particular fungal etiology called Nemocystis gerevesi and this particular fungal organism like previously it was called as Nemocystis carini and previously it was thought to be a parasite because it is going to exist as a trophocyte and cystiform. So, we all know like we have the protozoans which are going to exhibit a cystic form and trophocyte form. So, similar to that the particular organism is going to uh, have a morphology but still like due to the many of the other factor like the presence of chitin and the genetic material. So, it is going to be a fungal organism. So, like protozoa it is going to exist in cyst and trophocyte form and it is going to cause something called plasma cell pneumonia. So, why it is called uh, as plasma cell pneumonia like we will uh, study in detail when we are going to see about the particular pathogenesis. <laughs>